Strep throat is a bacterial infection that affects your throat and tonsils. It can be identified by the sudden onset of a sore throat and pain with difficulty swallowing. It is commonly observed in the children and teenagers. However, it can also affect other age groups. Group A streptococcus is also known as streptococcus pyogenes. This is one type of specific bacteria that produce a range of infections that may be mild to severe. Particularly in this context, it can produce strep throat. However, it can also be associated with various other infections like impetigo that produce skin infections. It can also produce a few of the serious conditions like rheumatic fever and toxic shock syndrome. This infection can spread through the respiratory droplets. Therefore, when you're going to cough or sneeze, it can be transmitted from one person to the other person. It can also be transmitted through direct contact with the skin, especially through the cuts or scrapes on the screen. Symptoms You may have a fever, often above 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Your lymph nodes may be swollen, and you may feel difficulty while swallowing the liquids or food. You can have a burning sensation in your throat. The tonsils may become red and swollen. Sometimes white patches or streaks of pus can also be observed on the tonsils. Headache, nausea, and vomiting may also present in a few people. This strep throat is caused by a bacterial infection produced by streptococcus pyogenes. It can be treated by using antibiotics like penicillin. Painkillers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen can be used to control the pain and fever. Plenty of rest can reduce the infection by developing the host immunity. Drinking lots of fluids also speeds the recovery. How to prevent this infection? This bacterial infection may develop throat inflammation, which produces pain during swallowing. It is caused by bacteria called beta group, a beta hemolytic streptococcus. It can be spread through the respiratory droplets after coughing or sneezing. It can also spread by touching contaminated surfaces. Maintaining sufficient hygiene can prevent further deterioration of this condition. Therefore, you have to wash your hands with soap and water every time you sneeze or cough. This can prevent the spread of the bacteria. You can prevent this infection by avoiding close contact with people who are suffering from strep throat. You should avoid sharing personal items, such as utensils or towels, to minimize the risk of transmission. Staying hydrated and resting adequately can also help your body recover more effectively. Furthermore, maintaining a balanced diet rich in vitamins can support your immune system. This helps you in getting a faster recovery. If symptoms persist or worsen, you should use an appropriate treatment. Antibiotics like amoxicillin are generally used. Before that, you should rule out other causes for sore throat. A viral infection may not be treated by using antibiotics like amoxicillin. Improper use of antibiotics can result in the development of resistance. This is more important in elders who have less active immune systems. Treatment should focus mainly on alleviating symptoms and preventing complications. Taking these precautions not only benefits your health, but also helps protect those around you. Strep throat can be identified by a rapid antigen detection test. A swab from the throat can be collected, which produces the result in 10 to 15 minutes. Throat culture is used as a gold standard for identifying strep throat. However, it takes at least one or two days to produce the result. This throat culture can be done whenever this rapid antigen detection test is negative, but still symptoms are present in the patient. Treatment. Antibiotics are used to prevent the complications of strep throat. They can reduce the duration of illness and prevent or reduce the chance of transmission of this infection from one person to another person. Generally, antibiotics like penicillin and amoxicillin can be given. Amoxicillin is preferred in the children. In people who are having the penicillin allergy, cephalexin may be used. Macrolide antibiotics like clarithromycin and azithromycin are also used to treat strep throat. But nowadays, these medications are getting more resistance. Supportive treatment is also beneficial. Gargling with warm salt water can relieve the symptoms. A few of the lozenges and throat sprays were also used to relieve the symptoms. Avoid irritating food while you have a sore throat. Taking soft foods helps in swallowing easily. Complications. If it is untreated, strep throat can be converted into rheumatic fever. It can also develop into scarlet fever, producing a rash, which is like a fine sandpaper-like rash. If strep throat is untreated, it may develop into other infections. It may affect the ear, leading to otitis media, or it can also develop into sinusitis. Due to the immune response, it may also develop into acute rheumatic fever and scarlet fever. 
The inflammation of the pharynx can produce a sore throat, a burning sensation in the throat, along with difficulty swallowing. It must also develop a fever. However, this condition may be produced by either viruses or bacteria. In case of viral infection, amoxicillin is ineffective. Pharyngitis can be caused by infections like viral or bacterial infections. It may also be developed by allergies and other factors. People with pharyngitis may have a sore throat, difficulty swallowing, Renino's fever, a headache, and swollen lymph nodes. It may be developed due to cold or flu infections. Strep throat is a bacterial infection caused by Streptococcus pyogenes. In most cases, it is resolved by appropriate antibiotic therapy. However, when it is untreated or improperly managed, it may lead to serious complications. These complications may involve pus formation, and they are called suppurative. They spread locally. A few other compilations are there, non-suppurative, that are related to the immune reactions. The spread of the Streptococcus pyogenes bacterial infection to the adjacent tissues can produce a few of the serious infectious complications. A collection of pus near the tonsils can be observed, resulting in the peritonsillar abscesses. This may result in severe throat pain, a muffled voice, and difficulty in opening the mouth along with a high fever. Another complication is the otitis media. The infection spreads through the eustachian tube that affects the middle ear and produces ear pain, hearing loss, and fever. Untreated strep throat can also lead to the development of sinusitis, where the secondary infection of paranasal sinuses can be observed. This may result in nasal congestion, facial pain, and headache. The infections may also spread to the lymph nodes, leading to swollen and tender lymph nodes. Few of the complications are related to the immune reactions. These may occur one to four weeks after the infection. These are due to abnormal immune responses to the streptococcus antigens. Among them, acute rheumatic fever is one of the important complications. This occurs two to three weeks after the untreated strep throat. It is due to the interaction between the streptococcal antigens and human tissue. It results in joint pains, involuntary movements, skin rashes, and inflammation to the heart. This streptococcal infection can also produce glomerulonephritis. This is called post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. This may occur one to three weeks after the infection. Within the kidneys, glomeruli immune complexes are deposited, leading to damage to the kidneys. This results in hematuria, blood in the urine. Proteins are excreted in the urine. It also develops the edema and elevation in your blood pressure. In the children, if it is untreated, it can produce immune-mediated neuroinflammation. That's all about strep throat its symptoms, treatment, and complications. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you really like this video. Share this video with your friends to support our work. Thanks for watching this video.